it has a fight scene between Dolph and Van Damme that's just let's just throw each other around and let's just throw each other around that's all I oh yeah one more thing I think we should uh, sorry to cut you off there bro but one more thing I would like to say about this film which is gonna make was gonna make us more mad is that believe it or not with the little bit of the DVD success this movie has got there is another one in the making and yes, yes, Dolph is set to come back. I don't know how. Van Damme is set to come back in 3D. They don't make another clone of Dolph. It's yeah. In this fucking movie. In 3D. They're really the producers and John Hines is going to come back. And they want to aim really hard for 3D, for, for theatrical release by putting in 3D. I, and I've seen a couple of 3D films. I've seen Avatar. I do want to see Piranha. But I do not want to see this film. Universe Soldier to begin with. I don't think you needed a franchise for it. In retrospect. But 3D is not going to save this movie. I don't care what Van Damme's motivation is. And I'll go. you can go on the rest man. I just wanted to put that out there. That there's another one coming in 3D. I am not looking forward to that. Me neither. Bottom line, I hate you, John Wood. I fucking hate you. You can suck my dick. Fuck you for making such a shitty movie that so many fucking people like. I know that doesn't make sense when you're thinking about it. I thought films are supposed to be that people like. No, not shitty movies. I just, there's so many fucking... Okay, why am I getting so pissed? There's so many movies that I like that nobody fucking likes or gets respect. Deadly outbreak with fucking Jeff Speakman. All Perfect Weapon movies. doesn't get no respect either. It was just sad, you know? Yeah. I mean, so the other one, Predator 2. Pre- I don't understand. Yes. This movie, right? They say it's greedy, it's dark. Where is it? Predator 2 has all that shit. It's got the pace, it's got the lead, everything. Exactly. It has all that and shit. And it, it, gets it, shit on. it gets shit on. This movie gets the pass. Fuck this movie. Stick it in their ass. This movie should not get a pass. This should get a fucking fail on an F scale of fuck. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. That, that's why it pisses me off. It's Predator a pedacito de miela. Más puto de carote de fucking película. In Spanish, the movie, there you go. These movies that we like and think are solid. Yeah. Shit on, and in this movie, it's like, oh, this is good. No, it's not good. To me, I guess. Shoot him up. Him. Shoot him up. Granted, okay, you got CGI shit, but it's creativity there. There's a brain behind the script and direction. Yeah. Clive Owen, you know, fun. Yes. There's no fun in this movie. Where's the fun? I'm sure someone will go, it's not meant to be fun. But, what? <laughs> you have Universal Soldier. The first movie was a summer movie. It had fun. That's what made it a classic. That's what, that's what people are going to say. I guarantee it's People say... But this is gritty and it's dark and it's not fun. It's serious and it's a take no prisoners. And whatever, dude. Well, whatever, uh, dude. Just don't send Matt any long PMs about why you should reconsider. Oh, Matt, this other guy, this boy, the guy's putting things in. No, I am not putting nothing in Matt's head. Matt felt this way on his own. If anything, oh, I was trying. I was trying. To be the, the mediator, but once I saw this movie, I can't defend this film. I, I can def- I can agree with that because I was I was the one. Yeah. And people would think I was putting this shit in his head because I was the one going, "This is gonna suck." Yeah. And I was like, "No, oh, no, we'll give it a chance." It I was halfway like, trying there, but after a while, with dialogue and annoying scientists and stupid questions, I got a little more voice down a little because it's a little later where I'm at now. Stupid questions. I agree. There's no more words I, for this. I don't know. I'm gonna end up losing my voice with this fucking movie. I heard this piece of shit. Say it like that. I hey, it too. Uh, this, part of the, this is, you know what? I take by what I said about Derail. This is the worst Van Damme movie. There you this go. Is, this is the worst. Is it better? Is it hardcore better than this one? <laughs> yes, because hardcore was no expectation. Here you had Dolph and Van Damme back together. Yeah. And I mean, my, my idea would have been okay, if you're gonna get Dolph and Van Damme another endeavor. Why does it have to be Universal Soldier? Why Universal? Why not have a movie where they're both maybe pals or like, you know, a little bit of a Tango cast type of vibe? Or like Showdown Little Tokyo? Oh, like that a little bit, yeah, you know? Just to have a little fun with it, you know? Make them be rival stuntmen and get involved in some bullshit or something. I don't know. Throw some other plot in there. Why Universal Soldier? I hate the Pitfall guy or the 
Not Pitbull. <laughs> the Pitbull guy. I hate the Pitbull guy. Look, he should stay with UFC. Leave the acting alone. Fuck that. He can't act, and I don't. I'm sorry, folks. Maybe he can fight in real life, but not in movies. With that stupid difference. cartoon, like it's it's Three Stooges type of shit. Ah, give me a fucking. And that's gritty. Life. That's what? gritty. Maybe it works in real life, but it doesn't mean it works in a movie. What works in real life in combat is different to what works in a film. Because combat is ugly. When you fight, you fight. It's not just splits and yeah, making sound effects. It's you fight, you grab, you punch, you bite, all to survive. That's a fighting is. And you know what? It's I'll not, you know. Say, usually it's not entertaining to watch a, just a fucking real fight. Yeah, it's not. I mean, UFC fights, to be honest, I don't watch them. Neither do I. Maybe maybe that's where we're coming from, too. We don't, we don't watch those fights. I mean, I used to watch wrestling. I stopped watching wrestling because it turned into a soap opera. I, got, I, I know Mike watches it on and off. That's cool. I know Mario likes it. It's cool. But me, I stopped watching it. Me, know? too. I, I don't like wrestling. I don't like wrestling. I mean, when The Rock was there, it was fun. But then when he left and the plot, the storylines got stupid, I left. You know, I left. I lost interest. <laughs> But basically, this gist of this whole thing, the movie sucks. We're not going to change our minds. Don't insist that we do. Don't send Matt any stupid messages or shitty comments. Any negative shit is going to get removed. You're going to get blocked and cursed the fuck out. So, if you're going to be, you want to disagree, fine. Yeah, that's, that's no okay. Problem. If you want to say, okay, I love the film, this, this, not, but I respect what you guys are saying, okay, we respect you, respect us. That's no problem. That's okay, but don't go and say, oh, you fucking guys don't know shit. Because chances are, we've been talking all this time. If we don't know nothing, then what would that make you if you're watching us? <laughs> yeah, I you mean, know? if you've been listening to us, then you're the one who has no life. <laughs> Damn, fun. You're sitting there with a the hand down your ass, and the other hand you're up your ass with a finger. And you, you know, you maybe you're jerking off, and wow, you maybe stop that. That's very Fuck graphic. <laughs> For anyone who wants to be a jerk off, then you know what? That's what you're doing. You're jerking off to yourself, and you know what? Go watch yourself in the mirror. So you waste. And then you can play that music in the background. I'm looking at the man. Oh, no, it's not a crack of Michael Jackson, but that's the title of the song. You know, man in the mirror. So, but well, basically, know, the gist of this is so we can wrap it up. I guess is. Yeah. The movie sucks. We're not changing our mind about it. You know, respect no. what we say. You know, f- fine if you love it, it's good. But just it's just our opinion. That's it. Opinions like assholes. Everybody's got one, so that's it. Don't make this any video movie, responses with nonsense, and that's it. You know. And this movie is the biggest asshole in the world. It is. It's an ass in space. Baby. Okay, well, well that's that's the wrap. Negative ass. one. This movie gets. That's it. Negative ten. Negative t- that thought you got to lowest the number to go over you. <laughs> yeah, negative 10. Oh, I would go lower than that. Fuck that 10. <laughs> negative 50. Negative, wow. Okay. Now this next one here, this is one that he's got that's supposed to be, a, that you were talking about, a project that he was working on called The Tower. Yeah, I don't know what that is anymore. I don't think that's going to be made. Because I don't know... <laughs> At one point, they said that's basically this Kumite follow-up or Bloodsport 2 or... I wish I knew, so I have no idea what that is anymore. Mm-hmm. I wish I knew, so... I don't even know. Mm. Well, I guess we need that. Uh, next one is, of course, the um, uh, anticipated movie that's coming out, I think, sometime this year on DVD, The Eagle's Path. By who? What? Anticipated by who? I don't know, by some of his hardcore fans, pretty much. Not, a, I mean, it's hard to say, I mean, Van Damme lost me with gen- Regeneration. I mean, I I have no hope. Because there, there was times where you had Seagull, you had Van Damme. Like, you know, like, made the DVD market, Seagull's score record's been terrible. Van Damme, at this list we went through, he had some decent ones in the bunch. Not perfect, but a little bit there. You know, he had some in- potential to it, you know, but... With regenerations, it really killed me, and and this one, that's why you know I, I don't I don't feel like I'm a fan really anymore, which is sad. You know how we praised them early on this video, now it's like we look at it like ah. <laughs> and the Eagles Path is basically, I guess, the plot of the story is 
I don't even remember the plot of the movie. I'm lost for words, man. Do you remember the plot? <laughs> Basically, a uh, guy who... He's like a taxi driver. He used to be a mercenary. Fits up a passenger. And one thing leads to another, and he's... This is supposed to be his taxi driver's bullshit. Dude, folks, once again, it's Van Damme directing. Right yeah, we're there, trying we're to direct trouble. this chair again. So right there, we're in trouble. Yeah. And once again, if you tell, it's him trying to be pretentious. That's strike number two. Yeah. Strike number three is, I saw the trailer, after you saw the trailer, and it did not impress me. Me neither. Yeah. Me neither. The trailer for a regeneration... When I first saw it, I had hope, but Eagle's Path trailer, the past couple times I seen it, I have no hope. 